Most of us guitarists start by strumming open chords and often in the key of G, it sounds something like that. If you want to dig deeper, if you want your strumming to sound more melodic, if you want to play melodies and all of that, then this scale here is going to make that happen. Now the scale I'm talking about is the pentatonic, but bear with me, it's not one of those videos here's the pentatonic box and now good luck with it. Of course, I'm going to show you an easy way to play the pentatonic, but more importantly, I'm going to show you two easy ways to get the pentatonic into what you already got your chord playing. Now it won't get any easier than that. You play exactly two notes on each string. Open string, third fret, open string, second fret, open string, second fret, open string, second fret, open string, third fret, open string, third fret. That's it. O, three, O, two. Now that was the E minor pentatonic or G major pentatonic, those two share the exact same notes. Before I show you what to do with all those notes, just a quick thing. If that's absolutely new to you, then I suggest spend some time playing that pentatonic up and down because it's new to you. Focus on the sound, it's not about speed, you don't even need to play it in time. Just focus on good sound, place your fingers correctly, fully internalize that fingering and go up and down and Try to get into flow with that scale and then you're good to go. Here's the first application. So what I do here is I have my G major fingering with all four fingers on the fretboard and then I play down, 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 up. Move to C at 9 by going down with my middle and the next finger one string, same strumming pattern. And then D you can actually leave your ring finger in place. And then two down strokes on G. And then I play A open string, A second fret, and D open string, and then I'm back to the start. The cool thing here is if we analyze those three notes, I start on an open string, play one note on that string, and then I end on an open string. And you can actually do that on every pair of strings here. So you can play. That's what I did. Would work fine. And so on. Every pair works fine. Same concept, totally different tempo. This next idea here is also in G major, but there's so much more to explore. I bet you won't lay down your guitar before an hour has passed. If you need any help with your guitar playing, then check out highguitar.com where you can get one-on-one -on -one lessons. I understand how frustrating it is to be enthusiastic about guitar playing, but not know where to start or what to do next. And that's why every month I help dozens of people just like you to learn guitar quickly, and I'd love to do the same for you. do here is same chords, different strumming pattern. It's down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, down. And then I play the pentatonic just descending. Start on the third fret high E string, high E string itself, then B string third fret and B string itself. Just going down that pentatonic four notes, the next chord. Do the same thing, but I start on the B string. So B string third fret, B string itself, G string second fret, and G string. Then next chord. Do the same thing on the G string. Then G. And then I do the same thing on the D string. 
If you feel like you need a boost for your finger dexterity, then watch this one here. I'll see you there.